Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, for the first time since I started the channel, I will not talk about Obsidian. After months of waiting, last December 27th, I finally received an email inviting me to try Lazy. Lazy is a digital tool designed to help users capture, organize and manage information from various sources. It aims to streamline the process of note-taking and information management, providing a single platform to handle all these tasks. After using Lazy for a couple of weeks, it's clear that even though its power in capturing information is emphasized, and rightfully so, this tool is much more than that. Lazy is still in closed beta and you can only try it by invitation, so I thought I'd start introducing it to you here on the channel as I believe it's a fantastic tool. But before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's dive straight into it. Upon launching Lazy, you arrive at your inbox, which is the central repository of your notes. In Lazy, notes are named cards. A card could either be a note or a task, as evidenced by the two distinct inboxes on the left, one for notes and the other for tasks. To create a note card, you just need to press N, write a title, this is a note card, and then hit enter. Given that Lazy supports Markdown, you can use traditional Markdown syntax for writing, or alternatively, you can press slash to select from various formatting options. The process to create a task card is similar. Press T, write a title, this is a task card, and then hit enter. It closely mirrors a note card, but it distinguishes itself by having a checkbox next to the title. But now, let's try the Lazy's MVP, the capture system. I've just prepared an article here. So let's start by highlighting some text. Now, to capture this content, I just need to use the hotkey command L. This action prompts Lazy to pull in the selected text as well as additional data, like the title here at the top, which also becomes the title of our card, the link to the article, and the author's name. By pressing slash, you can gain access to a variety of commands. Let's start with one of the most basic yet important ones, clip article. Executing this command, Lazy will put the article into the card. Now I can click on capture as a note, and if I go back to Lazy, I will find my note here in my inbox with uh, its title, the text I highlighted before, and the entire article. On the right side here, you also have some metadata associated with the article. First of all, Lazy already identifies this as an article. This is very helpful and I will show you why later. Then we have the link and the author. Now if I click on the author, as you can see Lazy instantly create a timeline view of all the notes and captures related to this author. There is a dedicated section for people in Lazy, more of which we'll look into in another video. Now let's go back to our notes. If I hit command O, I enter in reading mode, a distraction-free environment where you can navigate up and down with your arrow keys. By pressing H, you can highlight specific text block, and if you use the hotkey that we already used before, command L, you can capture the text you are pointing and take a note on that. As you can see, now you have the highlighted text block with the note here on the right. And if I go back to the original note, now I see my new highlights and the internal note here. Now let's try to capture a Twitter thread. Simply press Command L and as you can see, Lazy promptly records both the link and the author. And as I did before with the article, I will clip the tweet by using the shortcut Command Shift C and capture it as a note with Command plus Enter. I can press command I to instantly open the card and here you have it. As you can see here we have the metadata related to the thread and Lazy already recognizes it as a tweet. In our final example of capturing we will utilize a YouTube video. As always command L and here you have the title, the link, the author plus the timestamp. If we open the command list we can do some nice stuff, 
such as the transcript of the last 30 seconds of the video before the timestamp. And if I press slash again and select Ask Lazy AI, I have several options available. I can ask AI something about the selected text, in this case the 30 seconds transcript, or about the entire YouTube video. Or I have the option anything if I want just to interact with GPT-4. Let's choose the source content option and click on get key takeaways. Then click on insert and the takeaways will be appended beneath the transcript. Let's capture it. And here you have your note that Lazy recognize as video. Now, why have I always pointed out that Lazy automatically recognizes the content of what is captured like article, tweet, or video? Because this helps you to organize your inbox. At the top right, there is an option called Split Inbox. And if you click on it, you can create different split views by filtering content based on various parameters. For instance, to set up a split view for articles and tweets, click on Contains, then article and tweet. After that, hit save split. Name it to read. And optionally, you can pick an icon of your choice like this one. Again, go with split inbox, contains, and then choose video. Click on save split. Name this one to watch. And finish off by selecting an icon like this one. From this point onward, Captured articles, tweets, or videos will not just assemble randomly in the inbox tab, but instead will be systematically sorted in their respective split views. Lastly, let me introduce you to four simple yet essential shortcuts that will help you to organize and manage your notes within the inbox. The first one is command delete to delete a card. This action will move the card to the trash section where it will stay for 30 days. After this time, the card will be permanently deleted. By pressing E, you can mark the card as done. This action will read the card from your inbox, but you will still be able to find it here in the All Cards section. With the P, you can pin a card, and by pinning a card, you also mark it as done, so it will be removed from the inbox. Finally, M allows you to move a card inside another card. This function can be quite useful for establishing an hierarchical organization. And that's all for today. As previously mentioned in the video, Lazy is currently in its closed beta phase, so it's expected that some improvements are needed. However, I'm already using it daily and I firmly believe that this application has a promising future ahead. This was just an introductory video to this amazing PKM tool, but I realized that there can be a bit of initial confusion and hence I have planned to release more videos about Lazy in the future, covering topics like inbox and cards, sources, organizational structure, people and meeting notes, and much more, so stay tuned. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also subscribe to my new website for further content about productivity, PKM, and note-taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think about Lazy and your initial impression. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.